as far back as we know historically, the women in my family were weavers and seamstresses. And so I just uh, grew up doing that. Mary Ruth Hatley Sadler knows art comes in many forms. That's why she and her brother Vernon opened this unique place in Shawnee called the Arts at 317. People need to be highlighted for what the good that they do and the, the, the skills that they have. Everything here is handmade in Oklahoma by Oklahomans. Scores of items are on display, all for sale. They're going to see things here that they're not going to find anywhere else. These are one-of-a-kind pieces of art. It could be a wood carving, a painting, a photograph. A it's greeting gonna, card. A greeting card. It could, they're not going to find this anywhere else. Pillowcases, yeah. coasters. <laughs> Whatever. You come in here, you, you, you're going to leave with something. If it's just a memory, you're going to take something with you. The siblings say the arts at 317 is a tribute to their parents who encouraged them to find their passion. When I was young, my dad was, of course, he subscribed to National Geographic. And so I remember earliest memories of sitting on the floor looking through National Geographic and looking at the photographs. And it's like, oh my God, these are fabulous. I want to do this someday. And so when I was four or five years old, they bought me my first camera. Some people never leave Oklahoma. And so this is their closest way to actually see these places. I personally, I love, I'm eat up with travel. I mean, I could live on a plane or a ship. Um, so I try to capture images for people so that they can, I can share my excitement about going to these foreign places. Um, Italy, Spain, Australia, China. Um, I, you know, I, I get to travel a lot for my photography. The Arts at 317 is located at 317 East Main Street in Shawnee. The owners love the location because it's in downtown Shawnee, an area that's being revitalized. This is October 24th, 1894, was when this was originally sold by Grover Cleveland, President of the United States. It was a part of the Indian Territory Annex. That is before statehood. And that's the original this is paper? The, this is the original paper, yes. The deed to, to the this deed, property. Yes. It took Vernon and his sister more than a year to renovate the historic structure, bring it back to life from floor to ceiling. That's the first thing people do when they walk in the door. If they've never been in the building, the first thing they do is they look up at the ceiling and they go, oh my gosh, you know. Mm -hmm. You just don't see real tin ceilings in buildings anymore. And it was installed just like it would have been in 1907. It's overlapped in the corners. It started in that corner and worked its way forward. And so to see things happening again and to see people coming back downtown, let's go shop downtown. It's exciting because this is the way I remember it, is the cars on Main Street, the businesses are open. You know, and so that's what I want to see again. Being part of something that's bigger than yourself, something that puts back to the community, gives back to the community. It helps us to grow. The Arts at 317 has grown to offer visitors art classes in a music venue. Look in every corner of this unique place. There's art created by someone in Oklahoma. This is what Oklahoma is. We're artists. In downtown Shawnee. This is the best of Oklahoma. Yeah. Quintram, Discover Oklahoma.